Carl Rahner on the concept of the supernatural existential. This article comes from the Encyclopedia of Theology, which he edited and contributed to, called Sacramento Mundi. The term existential can also be used in a special way in theology. There can be no doubt about the following truths, though their further theological interpretation can be left open. Even prior to justification by sanctifying grace, whether this is conferred sacramentally or outside the sacraments, man already stands under the universal, infralapsarian, salvific will of God, which comprises within its scope original sin and personal sin. Man is redeemed and is permanently the object of God's saving care and offer of grace. He is under an absolute obligation to attain his supernatural goal. This situation, objective justification, in contradistinction to its subjective application by sanctification, is all-inclusive and inescapably prior to man's free action which it determines. It does not exist solely in the thoughts and intentions of God, but is an existential determination of man himself. As an objective consequence of God's universal salvific will, it of course supervenes through grace upon man's essence as nature, but in the real order is never lacking to it. This alone explains why, even if he rejects grace or in perdition, a man can never be ontologically and personally indifferent to his supernatural destiny. Until recently, the Catholic theology of the schools had generally held, despite occasional protests such as those of Ripalda and Vasquez, that a real offer of supernatural grace for a salutary act only occurs when a human being encounters the explicit preaching of the gospel, or when revelation as a historical tradition is present in some other way, e.g. transmitted from primitive revelation or in the Old Testament. Now Vatican II considers that there is a possibility of salvation for inculpable atheists and polytheists, though they also need real faith, and hence the grace of faith. Hence, there can be no serious doubt that all men stand permanently under the offer of grace really operative in them. This permanent and ever-present offer is always accepted in their moral activity unless they shut themselves to it by their own moral guilt. Through the supernatural formal object which is involved in grace itself, the primary feature of revelation and therefore the possibility of faith is already present. That man is really affected by the permanent offer of grace is not something which happens only now and again. It is a permanent and inescapable human situation. This state of affairs can be briefly labeled supernatural existential to prevent its being overlooked. It means that man as he really exists is always and ineluctably more than mere nature in the theological sense. The precise relation of the supernatural existential to nature, to original sin, simul justus et peccator, freedom and justification requires more detailed investigation.